Hello, welcome to part 12 of my Erlang tutorial. In this part I will be talking about expression which uh, helps uh, create lists without having to use uh, fans uh, or maps or filters which makes your uh, this, this, ex this expression is quite short and readable. It makes code short and readable. And the name of this expression is uh, list comprehension or our list comprehensions. Uh, so let me demonstrate how to use list comprehensions and what kind of advantages there are of using them. I will run Erlang show and I will start with the example something like let's say I have my scores, some list of scores like 99, 45, 12, 56 and 10 for example. This is this is my list of scores and uh, mm, since all these values are less than uh, it can be written in ASCII then I think it's, it's that's why uh, Erlang wrote it as a string. Um, so basically now I can uh, execute map on this. So I will use map from the lists module and uh, let's say I want to calculate for each of these elements in the list of scores I want to calculate uh, I, would div I would like to divide it by 5 let's say so, um, oops, sorry, I need to also write and here to end the fun. So as you can see, it will give me the list. It will map this input list to a list of values where each on in each element of this list, uh, this fun was um, applied. Now, uh, how to do the same with list comprehensions? I will uh, I will do it like this x divided by 5 and the double pipeline and then something like scores it gives exactly the same result as you can see and it's much uh, shorter way to write this this kind of uh, expression so this is exactly list comprehension um, now, list, comp uh, list comprehension is out anatomy of list comprehension is that this part is a called constructor. This left hand side part is called constructor, and this is a pattern. Uh, I will demonstrate it in more advanced example. So let's say I have list of game scores. Um, and the how to read it, it, it means basically um, create the list of this va of uh, and apply this function, for example, x divided by 5 to every element from the input list scores and create list out of it. So this is exactly how to read uh, this uh, what, what the list comprehension means. Um, okay, so I will create the list game scores. Let's see that there was there are some game scores 10, 11, 8, 6, 5, 7. Uh, okay, I, uh, I should also I should create it as a tuple. Sorry, I will clear the screen and start from scratch. I will call it scores. It's a list of tuples. And here I have, for example, score John. He had 10. Uh, then Adam had 11. George 20, for example. And maybe last result um, 
Jerry at 50. So this is my list of tuples. And uh, now I will uh, apply some maybe list comprehension on top of this list. So for this purpose, I will, for example, say uh, I want to have a similar list for, for this input list. I want to calculate, uh, want to check which of these values are greater than 12, for example. So I could write something like this. Um, I could write, of course, here is my constructor. And my constructor will look like this name and here the score and I want to put here the result of uh, such such result and then so I want to make sure that it will give me true if it's greater than 12 or false otherwise and here I in the pattern uh, I will write something like this name score and here the list comprehension scores. And as you can see, I got the result of uh, the list of tuples, but this time I it's not, not like name and the score, but the name and the information whether this uh, the score was greater than 12. I could do similar thing and say, I in the constructor I want this value to be multiplied by 100. And as you can see, it was in the re I got the, the result a uh, list of tuples, and here the score is multiplied by 100. And uh, also, I can use this list comprehension as a filter. And uh, here I will show you maybe I want to check what was the score of Adam in this list. Uh, for this, I will do the following. I'm doing pattern matching, Adam, score, and here, uh, here, here this, this is the constructor part, and of course in the pattern matching I want to type Adam, and here I want to type score, and the list comprehension scores. And it gives me a list with only one element, the query result, Adam got 11, 11 points. I could do something similar for George, for example. And of course here I would also have to change this to, to get, okay, in, in the constructor part, get the correct information. So as you can see, uh, this list comprehension makes it uh, much more clearer and uh, easier to, to write uh, these list generators. And uh, uh, there are a couple of other advanced things regarding list comprehension, but for now maybe I'll uh, leave you with this. So thanks for listening and stay tuned for other videos.